What's going on Wolfpack? Time for another Wolfabricks.com update. My name is Jim and of course this is where we talk about Lego reselling and investing. So at the beginning of every month, right, I like to share analytics with people. And last month we had over 14,000 brand new viewers come to the YouTube channel, which was just crazy. So I'd like to thank everybody that is new to the channel and of course everybody that is old to the channel. And just in case you haven't heard, we will be giving away this Best Bin Duel later this month. We will be giving away free retired Lego sets all all through the year of 2023 every month during 2023 and you need to be subscribed in order to win so right now you're looking at brickfanatics.com and I don't really talk about minifigs that much I do occasionally right but this really I love this now I'm not saying go out and buy it and sell it for fifty dollars because it's really not going to happen but this is as of this moment a exclusive to the united states minifig poly bag which i just absolutely love this doctor strange thor and the scarlet witch are pretty much all of my favorite marvel characters i really don't get into marvel that much dc of course is far superior to marvel but Doctor Strange, Thor, and the Scarlet Witch I, I like a lot. And I wanted to share with everybody this set. It, this is really cool. And again, when you go to eBay, you're going to see this really isn't breaking that many records, right? I mean, I do have some minifigs that are, I think, 40th anniversary Star Wars minifigs. And, and they're doing better th than this. But I really like this set. And this is a set that I'm going to go out of my way to purchase. And just in case you haven't seen it, there is a architecture gift with purchase coming out. It's weird. It says gift with purchase, but it's also for $19.99 on the website, but there's no buy box, right? And as many know, I'm a huge fan of architecture. Architecture is where I started. Architecture is where I made a ton of money. And there is yet to be any announcement for architecture for 2023, which is not surprising. Lego has been failing in my opinion, when, when it comes to putting out quality architecture sets in a timely manner. The last Taj Mahal was amazing. I think that's my fa going to be my favorite Taj Mahal. But in the meantime, there is a GWP architecture set for those of you that haven't seen it. All right, we're gonna talk about Super Mario, guys. We're going there. Now, here's the thing. I am, overall, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan. <laughs> of the theme with a broad stroke now that doesn't mean i don't own super mario sets and it doesn't mean i haven't made money off of reselling super mario sets now there are some real gems out there of course and you could see mighty bowser right there that's a new set of course it's not going to be retiring anytime soon and i did do a video about that set that you could check out in the archives. But there are going to be two sets that I am going to cover. And here's the thing, for me, I really don't see anything really interesting other than these two sets and Mighty Bowser, which I am not going to talk about. So if you see anything interesting or you've had a lot more experience reselling Mario Lego sets, please let me know in the description, because here's the deal. I have nothing personal against Mario. I'm just needing a couple reasons to go in on Mario a little bit more. And, you know, I don't do video games. I, you know, when I was 12 years old, I stopped playing video games. But I know many people out there that still play video games. So you're looking at this set. I like this set a lot. Super Mario 64 question mark block, set number 71395. This set is just awesome. If you've ever seen it in person or you've seen what it does, I mean, this set is just so cool. Even if it wasn't a Mario set, if it was some other set that had the, the features to it, just an overall cool set. When you go to Camel 3X, you could see, boom, right out the gate. Whenever it was sold out, it was off to the races. The cheapest you could have got it for was $169 back in July of 2022. And if you timed it right, it recently went, it looks for over $300, which is not bad. I mean, you're looking at 100% ROI before the fees and all, all that other good stuff. But this is a set I really like, probably going to be the Mario set that I like the most. I will talk about a Mario set that I've had in the past and how that's doing, 
But before we go there, we are going to be talking about this set right here, Peach's Castle Expansion Set. Now, we do own one of these in the house for the children. It's definitely not for resale. But I wanted to throw this out there, right? Because with Super Mario, you do need Princess Peach, right? You also need Bowser. And you have these guys in here, and it's definitely a part of the Mario story. When we talk about collectability, right? You have Mario, you have Luigi, you have Princess Peach. Of course, you have you know the mighty bowser and you also have the smaller bowsers too but this right here going for 129 and change can't remember if this was discounted no it hasn't been discounted yet currently going for 129 and change on camel 3x really nothing to report here so far now does this portell that this will not be a good seller i don't know i'm just putting the information out there and everybody that's watching this can make up their own mind but what I do want to talk about is this set right here, and you can see that I did purchase this back in November of 2021. I believe it was going for $70, which is not bad. The Super Mario Bowser's Castle Bowser Expansion Set, set number 71369. You definitely need this set if you're going to be doing anything Mario related, right? This right here is the pinnacle. It's the flagship. I mean, th this is the set that people and parents will need if they're going to be collecting Lego Mario. And you can see right here when you go to Camel 3X, you know, currently going for 181 and change, which is not bad. You can see right here that it was going for $70 on Amazon. I picked it up for $70 as well, which was great. Now, it does look like that there have been some replenishments here or there, so the aftermarket price really hasn't been able to level out. Hopefully, there's no more inventory of that. There shouldn't be. And then the reseller market will just go ahead and show that trend and be in control of the price, which, of course, is what you want. Now, when you go to the Excel, you could see if you were going to do 150%, which is somewhat conservative, right? The question mark was going for around $325 during Q4 when it was sold out. So putting a sell price for $400 really isn't that unreasonable, right? Now, I definitely think the jury is still out on Super Mario Princess Peach's Castle, say that five times. But if we were to go ahead and give it 150% ROI, this is what the sell price would be. If, of course, you did your discounts and you had a buy price of 160 and 103 and change, which shouldn't be difficult if you know what you're doing. That's it, friends. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Jim with WolfofBricks.com. Always go out there and get it.